Okay, welcome back. So, by my calculations, our opponents currently have 13 towns between them, whereas we have just the one, but what we do have is Loinus, with a very particular set of skills, including Expert Water Magic with the Prayer Specialty, Expert Logistics, Expert Earth Magic, and uh, Basic Armor, which might not seem like much, but uh, it's, it's one of those skills that clerics don't tend to get, and we also of course have a very good town, including 4 Basic Archangel Growth per week, with an extra angel per week right outside of our town. And in this area, which will henceforth be known as the Back Garden, we have a another Portal of Glory, which is producing a sixth angel per week. So, if anyone should be afraid, I think it's the opponents, and I'm hoping I'm going to be vindicated here in my turtling strategy. That is basically what I've done. I've kind of turtled for about a month and a half, but I'm hoping we have a really strong position here to go and attack from. So I'm going to begin by sending Ingham over to Tyrus, and we are going to give Tyrus two Archangels, take the Angels back, and we're going to go back over to the Portal of Glory. And then Tyrus we're going to send after Aislinn. We're going to split these guys in half. I'm going to jump through here, that's going to put us into a fight immediately. I'm going to give her a chance to cast Meteor Shower, I don't think it's going to do too much damage, although... She does have seven spell power, so that's a little bit scary. Still, I think Meteor Shower specialty doesn't do extra damage. 130 enough? Just enough, perfect. I think Meteor Shower specialty... Oh, perfect, morale too. That works. Meteor Shower specialty doesn't do extra damage to Archangels, that's my understanding anyway. Uh, we're going to go for basic logistics, we're going to jump through, and we're going to make a move towards the Crystal Cavern. Uh, Adelaide doesn't really have too much to be doing. Orin is going to try and make his way back. Rissa is going to go and take the slow units off Loinus. And let's start moving back in this direction. I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Loinus back towards the Naga Bank. I think we have to do the Naga Bank. I'm not sure I'm going to send him back to the town. I think I should. I think I should because we should get him to the stables. It's only day two, it's going to be day three soon. Um, but I think there's still just about a benefit to going to the stables, because we need to get our spell points back either way. The alternative is to go back underground, go to the magic well, um, and then come back. But yeah, I think it's probably faster just to bite the bullet and go back to the town. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to be pushing out with Tyrus. So my plan for Tyrus and these kind of other backup heroes is I want to try and get as many of them as possible to what I see as the magic number, which is six archangels. Because once you have six archangels, you can split them into two stacks of three and three Archangels is just enough to resurrect one Archangel from another stack. So if you have two stacks of three, each of those stacks can resurrect one Archangel from the other stack. Hopefully that makes sense. That is going to be really strong if we can pull that off. So with this being the back garden, I'm thinking I'll probably keep one or two heroes around just to be, uh, we'll call them gardeners. And I think the obvious candidates for that would be Edric and Caitlin. Edric's okay, he's level 4. I could send him out, he's also got earth magic. I mean, he might not stay here permanently, but I think for now it makes sense to leave him here. And Adelaide... Should be fine for now, we can probably send her out later, but there's no urgent rush to. Let's see what our opponents are currently up to. So I'm not sure how far I can actually push with Tyrus. I'm not sure two Archangels is going to do that much this far into the game. But... In theory we could scout. I don't want to overdo it, I'm going to stay relatively close. As you can see, Loinus has tons of movement points now, so that's really great. Um, he does need to go back and get his movement points, spell points even back. Uh, Brissa, we're going to go and check out what this is. So that shield here. Haven't seen what this one is. Stone skin, haste, summon boat, and view earth. Okay. What I'm really looking for is slow because we do have it as a result of the scroll, but obviously that is taking up an artifact slot. It's not ideal. But I think for now it should be fine. Okay, so let's send Loinus back towards Cornerstone. Actually, I've just blocked myself off, which is not ideal, but still. Um, the main thing holding us back now is just the amount of money we're currently making. So let's pick up this guy. And yeah, we can't go through just yet, but we can pretty soon. Let's go for Advanced Mysticism. Let's return to Caitlyn, let's move her up towards this. 
Let's go to Orin. I think Orin should be pretty safe. Could actually go for this, but can always go back there later. Let's send Edric up to this. Gonna claim some swordsmen. I guess it's not urgent to go for the swordsmen. They do cost money, so I'm gonna hold back. Uh, Mage Guild level 2 does cost us Mercury. We can get some Mercury next week if we pick up the Angel. Uh, we can go to the south, take out the Orcs. But, again, not urgent, so we'll just end the turn there. Yeah, I'm slightly bemused by how things seem to be getting quieter instead of louder. Um, so we go back to this. That does not get us our spell points back until tomorrow. But that's not necessarily an issue. We don't need to rush him out. Uh, we're actually being held back by gems now. Edric can't quite reach. Yeah, if we're being held back by gems, I'd be tempted to trade for them. We have lots of ore we don't need, so let's just go to this. Let's trade away pretty much all of that. And then if we return to base, we should be able to pass over a couple more angels. And we're not going to be able to afford to upgrade them just yet, but pretty soon we can. Yeah, unfortunately for Loinus, we do need to get his spell points back. We don't have access to any magic wells. So the only thing we can really do is uh, just spend a turn here, which is honestly fine, because like I said, the main thing holding us back uh, is really our income. So we can just focus on pushing out with um, Tyrus for now. I'm going to trade for a few more gems. We should have a good supply of crystal now, so that should be fine. Uh, we probably also don't need this much wood. Let's trade some of that. And let's just leave it to the capital to generate the rest of our resources. Let's go to the Magic Garden. Start coming back towards this, and we're going to send Orin to this. Can't recruit any of those, I forgot I did that already. Okay, so let's just park ourselves somewhere vaguely useful. So we've got a couple of units we need to upgrade, so let's just pick those up. And that's way outside the town. Rissa needs to upgrade some pikemen, so let's pass those over too. Same with the monks. Okay. Slightly long-winded, but I'm hoping we should have enough now to really push out with multiple heroes. Um, Tyrus, I am going to take the risk with. I'm just going to go and scout slightly further to the east. So a throng of archers, I think, should be fine. We shouldn't take any losses. Yep. Okay, so... I think in Horn of the Abyss, scouting is massively improved, but in Shadow of Death, even on a backup hero, I'm not convinced by that. But I'm going to go for it. I feel like that is just about going to be worthwhile. A uh, throng of mummies, I'm not sure we can quite do. Let's just keep moving this direction. As we can see, here's one of Teal's towns. We don't know who's in the town, so there's a slight risk we get attacked. I should definitely hang on to my gold just in case I need to surrender. And the rest of these heroes, I think we'll start moving Caitlyn towards the water wheel. We'll send Ingham up to park next to the town, and Adelaide is good where she is, so let's just end the turn there. Let's see if Teal comes to attack. If they don't, that suggests we can probably go attack them. Let's check this out. Okay, so it is actually Caled. There is no moat. So there's no citadel, there's no castle, there are a few more defenders in the town. That's kind of borderline. I think there's a good chance we'd lose at least one. She's probably got some pretty good spells. We don't. So I'm not going to risk that, but it's good to know it's there. Let's just push to the south instead. Pretty sure she's not going to come out and attack us. This should be fine. Let's just pick some stuff up. Didn't even check how many there are, but pretty confident that's going to be completely fine. Firewall, okay, that's not too useful. Horde of Basilisks, I'm not 100% confident about that one. 
Horde of Medusa Queens might be slightly easier. Probably a bit too dangerous though. So Lornis now has tons of moving points. We can upgrade these. We can send Caitlyn up to the water wheel. And we can send Edric back over to the trading post. Get ourselves a bit more gold. Pick up our sixth angel and slight dilemma here because obviously one of the good things about Loinus and his specialty is that um, it's much more effective on low tier creatures. Doesn't really have a direct effect on Archangels but he's still the obvious choice to do this so let's just go and do it. Let's move Orin out of the way. And let's also move Brissa. And line us up to do this. This should be completely safe. Yeah, we're not even expected to take losses. Okay, so that's an extra 4,000 gold, some extra gems too. That's perfect. Let's keep going. I'm going to follow him up with Brissa. I'm going to send Ingham back to the town. And let's upgrade these units. Yeah, so these right now are kind of more like stragglers. We could still use them. But I think we're going to need a bit more. So we'll pick up some extra archers. We'll pass them over to Orin. So 61 marksmen going up against a horde of vampire lords. Yeah, I'm not confident we can do that yet. That is worth doing though for the extra gems. As well as the source of wood. Source of wood's not too important, but still worth picking up. And a bit of extra gold too. I think that will be worth going for next. Let's move Orin in that direction. And it's in the turn there. So I think Caleb's pretty much trapped now because she shouldn't want to come out. That suggests that somebody just moved nearby. I'm a bit confused by that. Something happened. I'm not sure what to think of that. Let's just go through here, and let's go west. So it's actually a one-way exit. We can't quite make it to there. Probably could have done if we didn't go west, but I did want to scout that out. Okay, so what we can do instead is we can take on a throng of mummies. That should be completely fine. Go to this first. Get ourselves a bit of extra attack. And I don't think we need to go to the magic well. This should be an easy fight. Yep, no need to take it manually. And that gets us the Breastplate of Brimstone, which is plus 5 to our spell power, very nice. Go to the Learning Stone. And next turn we can pretty much take that town with no problems at all. So returning to this. Get ourselves the remainder of the Arches. If we could afford Zealots, I'd go for a few of those, but we can't. Okay, so is this enough? I feel like the answer is still probably no. If Orin had mass slow, I'd probably do it. He doesn't actually have a spellbook, in fact. Okay, so let's actually do that next week. It's really not urgent. One of Halberdiers should be fine. Advanced Logistics. Let's go for these for the gems and for the Mercury. Okay, so a Horde of Medusa Queens, I feel like, is probably okay. But it's so risky if it goes wrong that I'm not going to try it. I'm just going to start coming back. I could actually pass the Archangels over to, um, to Loinus, but I don't think we need to. So I think Caitlyn's fine where she is. I think we want to send Edric starting towards this. And let's send Caitlyn back to and she pick up some monks before the end of the week. Briss's units I think we should send back towards Orin. And let's send the turn there. 
Yeah, so two is definitely trapped. It's day seven, so we should get all their units next week. Let's go for this. Yeah, no loss is expected. I think just in case she does have spells, we will give her the chance to cast. She has built the Citadel. Uh, that has done actually a fair chunk of damage. But we can always resurrect if we need to. Let's go for these first. Bless doesn't benefit us, of course, because we're doing constant damage. Uh, Magic Arrow is going to do 140 points of damage. That's not bad. But I don't think any of this stuff makes too much of a difference. Prayer is probably actually best. Because it's still, it's still the usual prayer, it just doesn't benefit from the specialty, but Expert Prayer is still really good. Go for these. Get Morale, that's perfect. Let's go and finish these off. Yeah, she's actually a pretty bad spellcaster, so I'm not going to take any losses. Okay, so not only have we taken the town, we've also taken out Teal's best hero. Let's see how good this is. So it's not great. We could trade to get the castle, but that's not going to get us that much. I think Cage of Warlords, just for the sake of enhancing Linus, does make sense. And let's go for this too. No losses expected. Bit of extra gold, that's great. And chances of finding anything else in terms of opponents' towns to the east is very low. So, just going to go back to the west. Send Edric towards the Port of Glory. Let's send Tyrus to the east, see what we can find. So lots of Nagas, that's actually pretty interesting. Yeah, some of this stuff is worth taking. But at the same time, I feel like we don't really need to build up anymore. I mean, all of this is very doable. That's actually really tempting me now. I actually regret going west. Because if we actually took all this stuff out, we would immediately be able to afford pretty much everything from the start of next week. And like, Linus doesn't actually have a concrete direction to go in. Because this isn't going to take us anywhere. If we go back above ground, we know exactly where that goes. I think there's a town to the south. But there are no paths leading to it, so... I'm not sure what to make of that. Make sure we get Orin a spellbook. And let's go with some zealots. Okay, so we can actually attack this turn. But pretty sure he'll run out of moving points pretty much the second we do, so there's no real urgent need to do that. Okay, so let's leave Ingham in the town to pass some units over. Let's give the rest of the units from Brissa over. And let's send Orin as close as we can. Let's send Adelaide towards the bottom one. Caitlin can go for this. So we could trade for the sake of hiring out some extra monks, but I don't think it's worth it. Let's just end the turn. Another thing I could do is I could send Brissa um, along with Linus. I think that would be a good idea. Okay, Week of the Crusader. That feels really appropriate because we are just beginning this crusade. Lots of Nagas. Six Archangels. Should be very easy. Yep, no loss is expected. Let's go for Expert Armourer. Let's visit this. Bit of XP. Ah, that's really not what I wanted to see, so we're forced into a bad choice. Gonna have to go for basic first aid. I mean, that's not... Obviously that's not good, but... I'm not as bothered as I could be because that is going to help us keep our units alive, and that's... It's better than nothing. Obviously, any other slot would be better used than that. 
I don't think I was supposed to be able to go for that for free, but apparently I could. Okay, let's go for advanced first aid. Let's go for the Naga Bank. Can't do it. Go for these. Should be a very easy fight. I'm not going to bother recruiting them. Yeah, we're not going to spend any gold on that, but still worth picking up. Yeah, lots of Cyclops Kings, obviously a bit too tough. We can probably take on the Storm Elementals, but need to be a bit careful. Grab this with Edric. And a Horde of Orcs is slightly tougher than lots of Orcs, and maybe I don't want to go for that just yet. Let's return to this town. Pick up a few more Marksmen. Pick up the Zealots. And we still have nine Archangels left to be picked up, so that's perfect. Maybe it's technically more cost efficient to just go ahead and pick up the uh, the Archangels instead, but I feel like with Orin you just have to go for archery, it's much more fun. Let's do it. Yeah, so not too many losses expected, but I want to see if we can just prevent that altogether. Yeah, the damage there is not amazing. Bless might make sense. Yeah, so Bless definitely benefits the Marksman more so than the rest. Uh, it does benefit the Royal Griffins quite a lot, but I don't actually want to involve them if I can avoid it. It's just Magic Arrow. And I do want to tuck these away. Okay, so these guys can reach us, these guys can reach a one stack, these guys can't reach us. I'm going to have to just shoot these, I think. Yeah, we don't have haste either, so I'm starting to see how some losses are pretty much inevitable here. They're definitely going to come in and go for the hit. Yeah, I think I just have to accept I'm going to take a hit here, so I'm going to go for shield. I'm going to move these guys... Out of range of everything except the stack of 20. These guys come forward. Get some health back. Big hit on those. Go for these next. Take those out straight away. Yeah, really wish I had haste, but never mind. So if we bless these, go for this hit, that's going to get a few kills. I'm not sure that's actually worth doing. We can't protect the Halberdiers, so let's just do it. I feel like Auto-Resolve might have done slightly better here, but never mind. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we did slightly better, but that was not perfect. Let's give this to him. Okay, so Orin has a really good stack of range units, but I'm not sure he's going to be particularly great at taking down uh, an actual town. So I do have to be a little bit careful. Okay, Brissa, I'm just going to send to the west, and I think we're going to start... In fact, let's keep her with Orin. Go back to this town, let's pick up the Serpent Fly Hive. And there uh, we can see Tan has arrived. Very strange behaviour there, I'm not sure if I'm missing something. Did he just run into a corner? He just runs into a corner. Okay, what's up with that? Something very suspect. 
Okay, he's got Ghost Dragons, he's got Dread Knights, he's got a few Master Vampires. We could beat that. Is that the strongest hero? That is Tan's strongest hero. That's very strange. I wonder if he has Dimension Door or something, or... The AI saw Orin and then panicked, perhaps. Either way, that's really strange. Unfortunately, we don't have a great way of chaining units this turn. We have got Gunnar available to us now, but I'm not actually keen on dismissing anyone. Let's have some more fun with Linus. Yeah, I could play these things out, but I think we should be completely fine either way, like, there's no real need to do that. Yes, yeah, so this is definitely a bit of a treasure zone. I think it's still worth going to the north just to open this up, but let's do that with Tyrus. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so pretty much all of this is unexplored. There are more Naga Banks. I don't think that's worth doing. Yeah, I feel like I can go without most of this stuff. Equestrian's Gloves is tempting. I should probably just avoid doing this for too much longer, but... It's too fun not to, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna go for Expert First Aid. We're gonna go to this. Clear it out. An absolute ton of resources for that. Go for the castle. And then back in this town. We can definitely afford a few more Archangels, but... Let's see what we can do here first. Okay, so let's go Adelaide to this. Go to this next. Turn to the town. And she can move a little bit further. But yeah, I think it makes sense just to stay here for one more turn. And then Orin. Let's send Orin to this. Okay, so I was actually hoping for 500 gold there. So we could get a, a third Archangel. I think I'm just going to start improving him instead. Also interesting to see a, um, a Griffin Conservatory, because that would be a couple of extra angels. But I don't think we have the best units to do that with, and we don't have mass slow, so probably not going to bother. Okay, so let's form some kind of chain. So if we just move Brista down to here. Assuming Terek doesn't have any kind of dimension door or anything like that, I think he is just trying to hide. But yeah, we're going to be able to chase him down next turn, I'm pretty confident. He might try going to the west and going to the north, but we can still chase him down from the town, so that's fine. Okay, I think we'll end the turn there. Yeah, so he's going to try and run. We might send Linus back in that direction soon. I didn't even see that hero, I think that might have just emerged. Pink is over here, but we don't have a way to get to that, so let's just disregard that. Alright, let's see who this is. So that's Septiana, definitely not a main. We can see a bit more about our opponents now, so Blue's main is quite good. Pink's main is also quite good. Teal has pretty much already been wiped out. I mean, they probably have a decent few units, but... They've lost their best hero, so not too worried about them. Uh, Terek we should be able to take on this turn. Go straight for four Archangels. Let's send Adelaide down to here. Okay, so Orin is 
Not going to be able to catch up just yet, but... I wonder if it's worth going for the stables. No, let's just try and chase them down. I think that should be fine. I don't see any point going any further east, so let's just start chasing down our opponents. Uh, let's use Tyrus just to pick a few things up. And does he have Wisdom? Yeah, he does have Wisdom, but he doesn't have Earth Magic, so... Maybe I shouldn't have gone for Scouting, but never mind. 300 Imps, 2 Archangels is enough for that. That's uh, quite impressive. Yeah, I'm not really feeling this. I'm going to go West. Okay, so we've got 3k in the bank, let's just go to our fortress town, let's keep enhancing this. And let's just end the turn there. So if I knew exactly where to go to find their towns, that would be great, but the, the roads don't actually tell us that much. You can see who this is. So that's Tamika. She's not a main. She's not terrible, so that suggests that Gerwolf has a couple of decent units, but yeah, I'm not too worried about him. Um, I don't really want to waste my movement points on this. I think I'll just send Tyrus up instead. And I'm not going to play this one out. Go for Expert Tactics. Let's grab ourselves a first aid tent because we might as well. We're stuck with that on our main. And all of these over. Probably worth thinking this through, so... Skull Helmet, obviously not needed. Crown of Supreme Magi, likewise. Red Dragon Flame Tongue. I think we'll stick with the Greater Nulls Flail. Arms of Legion is going to be extra Gorgons in this town. But we have to leave a hero there, which I'm not sure I'm going to bother. Yeah, there's some stuff to the north, but let's just go to the west. Is it this? And I can't really see too much to do here except to just kind of strike out to the southwest. Orange emerged from this little cavern, but that doesn't look too promising to me, so I'm just going to go in this direction. Okay, so we can see a graveyard there owned by Tan. So there's a very small chance that we're pretty near to Tan's original town. I should try and pick up a sixth Archangel for Orin, but let's not do it just yet. So what I can do now is I can pass over pretty much all of these units, and actually... I think that's a nice idea. So we're just going to swap these around. We're going to make Orin into... No, that doesn't make sense. I really want to keep the range units on Orin. We could pass over the Griffins. They will slow Linus down, but only to a very tiny extent. And yeah, I think we don't need these even as fodder. Linus is completely fine. Okay, we're going to send Caitlyn to the barracks. Ingham doesn't really have too much to be doing. I guess we could send him to scout. Brissa should be doing something better than what she is doing. I've kind of neglected her a bit. She's not... She's our only non-castle hero, so I, I kind of don't feel any attachment to her. But yeah, she is pretty good. She's got some really good skills. Expert haste is the main one. Could definitely make use of that. Okay, so the fortress town is reaching the point where it should be able to defend itself from pretty much any opposing scouts. 
Ingham. I think it's best off somewhere like this. This is a kind of vessel between the um, subterranean gate and our main town. And yeah, I think that's fine for this turn. Okay, so there's Tan again. I did kind of stop paying attention to where Tan went. It's still Terek. I could probably get him with Brissa. We should try that. Brissa is pretty good, like I said. I think it's time to give her a chance. Okay, so Brissa can go to the south, can take on Terek. Let's just do it. So Brissa and her haste specialty don't really benefit us that much here, but... Yeah, this should be completely fine. So I probably should have split the Archangels into a stack of three and two. It's slightly concerning that he has expert tactics, but... If we can keep our range unit safe, I'm not too bothered. I'm gonna go for expert haste. That will actually help us quite a lot. We should be able to take them out before they can do anything. Okay, so this is a guaranteed kill. Let's just do it. Kill these. Block these. It's crazy how far they can move, so... I'm pretty sure Brissa's haste specialty works exactly the same as Linus's prayer specialty, so it's like a... a plus three on top of normal expert haste. So as you can see, it takes Halberdiers all the way up to 14 speed, and she does not get to move at all. He does not get to move at all. Um, until all of our units have moved. I don't even think there's much we can do with these. Let's just try and protect our marksmen. Okay, that's pretty predictable, but yeah, that's completely fine. Alright, let's go slightly further to the south. Let's go into this town, we can get ourselves our magic 6th Archangel. We'll go and hand that over to Ingham. Take these back. So what I can do now is, with 6 Archangels, I can actually split someone off from the rest. So I could even send Ingham out. I feel like Edric is a decent choice for that. I'm actually going to start bringing Edric back. And let's use Tyrus as an extremely powerful scout. So this one-way entrance, I think, just jumps us across to here, and it could also take us to a completely different part of the map, but we're not going to risk that. We're going to jump through. This is dirt terrain, so I think it's probably going to be Necropolis' main town, which yes it is. Yeah, it's Tan's main town. He's got some good stuff in his town, but... Yeah, we might lose a few griffins, but we can probably just resurrect them, and yeah, we can definitely take that next turn. Yeah, I don't think there's much Tang can do. Green has emerged and doesn't appear to be scared of us, so this must be someone... I assume this is someone extremely good. It's Thant, and he's not that great. I'm not sure what he's playing at. I'm going to go for him first, and then I'll go for the town afterwards. Yeah, so we're expected to take a few losses. We'll give him a chance. So obviously I think we should go for the Angels first. Uh, mass slow is tempting. Mass prayer is also tempting. I think prayer does make sense here. Go for these. 
Oh wow, he's got pretty good stats. I mean, he took that pretty well. Only three of these. Go for these next. Okay, so if we go for the Dread Knights, we're going to get one kill. I don't think that's worthwhile. Pikeman. Probably a better target. Okay, so yeah, if they all want to gang up on the Griffins, that's fine. We can pretty much just resurrect them anytime. Each Archangel is 100 HP of resurrection. So as long as we don't start losing those, I think that's fine. And our first aid removes 85 points of damage, so that's actually pretty decent. Like, that's not, that's not bad. Is Expert Cure worth it? Let's wait until we have to take some retaliation first, so these guys should survive. Okay, never mind, they don't. Alright, let's take these out. Not quite enough damage there. Not quite enough there, so let's just go for these. And yeah, they are all going for the Griffins, which is honestly completely fine. He's just damaged his own angels. Let's see. Yeah, these stacks both have plenty of HP. Okay. Oh. I did not expect him to flee for some reason. I thought he'd hang on slightly longer. I was waiting for the perfect moment to use Resurrection, but... Okay, so we just lost a lot of griffins. That kind of sucks. Something to look out for. Yeah, that kind of sucked, but the Archangels had it in hand. Oh, okay. I thought this was going to be fine. Right, so we're going to have to think that through, so maybe Expert Shield makes sense. First Day Tent's still alive. Yeah, I'm going to go for Expert Shield. And we're going to focus both of these guys on the same stack. So I'm going to send these guys in first, they got 250 HP. And hopefully they're going to block off this stack from being attacked. So the Dread Knights are going to do a lot of damage, but outside of that... Oh no, never mind. We've opened that up. Okay, still all alive for now. Maybe it's time for Cure. Both about as weak as each other. These guys are more surrounded. Okay, so unsurprisingly the tower does um, prioritize the weaker one, and i will decide what to do next. So stone skin is tempting. These guys have 147 HP, these guys 197. Neither is great. I think just doing extra damage to these is really tempting, but... Prayer does increase our defense. That's worth bearing in mind. Let's go for that. So that allows us to take out three of these. Yeah, so it would definitely take a loss in response, but I think that's still worth doing. Yeah, they do double damage back. That actually only does 54 damage, so yeah, our defense is really good. Go for another hit on these. Okay, so I think it's mostly the towers I'm worried about. These guys have already lost one, so we can't resurrect, um... So if we lose a second one, we can't resurrect them. Hang on a minute. I just realized about a second too late. Yeah, the plan falls apart if we've lost... ...one Archangel from each stack. That becomes permanent. I realized that, but... Just like a second too late. 
So that's like that's permanently done now. We've lost two archangels for that. However, it is Tan's main town, um, so it's a really good prize. And yeah, I think that's fine. That's not a big deal. It's just slightly annoying. I'm gonna go for stones again. And let's just keep weakening them as much as we can. Yeah, I think without the towers it would have been fine. The towers are doing a lot of damage. Of course, if we lose another, that's a real problem. Tower does... Yeah, that is that is where all the losses are coming from. Tower did 72 damage. I'm trying to remind myself how that works. So I know with the armor skill, the tower does extra damage in proportion to your armor skill. So like, it's glitched in Shadow of Death, it's fixed in Horn of the Abyss. But in Shadow of Death, you actually take extra damage from towers if you have the armor skill. But presumably that doesn't also apply to Prayer and Shield and Stone Skin. That seemed to do a lot of damage. We're going to have to restock Loinus's army. Yeah, that sucks. The annoying thing is these guys don't even have a hero, so... Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, those things do like 200 damage each time. If I just go straight for Cure, how much does that do? About 100. Not amazing. Hundred and twenty seven HP, so yeah, they're gonna go down to the towers. Could try moving them out, but same difference. Yeah, so the magic number of archangels does work, but not if you lose one from each stack before you resurrect. As soon as you've lost one, that's when it's time to resurrect. Okay, that's fine. I think we can bear that in mind. It's not really a severe loss. Uh, they're actually targeting the ballistas now. I wish they'd done that earlier. Blisters down. It's fine, that was basically just fodder. Okay, so three Archangels, that sucks, but learned a useful lesson there, so that's okay. Um, basic leadership we're going to avoid. We're just going to go for basic air magic, and how is your mage guild? It's not great. It's got blind though. So that's pretty good. Obviously, it doesn't work against um, doesn't work against Necropolis, but will work against the other players. So that's not bad. Um, level three is always a bit of a disappointing mage guild, but never mind. All right, so I have to somehow get Loinus some more units. He's not massively threatened. If he has just three archangels, he's still going to be okay. I'm going to go for this. Ah, it's empty. Okay. Let's check this out too. Quicksand, and that stops us going back, which is annoying, but we should be able to find Magic Well without too much trouble. Just do some scouting. Okay, so elsewhere we've got Ingham, who has got one extra Archangel. I'm gonna send Orin down to Brissa. And that over.
So we should be able to just go straight for the, the mass haste here. Which should keep pretty much everyone safe. Let's split these instead. Does one stacks make sense with these, or should we split these? I think stacks of at least two does make sense. Let's go for this. Yep, so no loss is expected. That gets us just the one angel, which is not great, but still. Uh, we can probably just hand that back to someone. Let's give it to Ingham. Okay, so Ingham takes that back. We're going to keep Orin coming along in this direction. And the scout with Brissa. Send Edric to the west. I think what I'll do with Edric is I'll keep him... I'll keep him a day away from Caitlyn and we'll just go back to the town. But yeah, he should be decent too. Okay, so let's keep building this town up. Let's go for the Basilisk Pit. Uh, we've actually got a Griffin Conservatory there. That should be fine, right? That should be okay, I think. Let's check our spells. Not the best spells for this. I'm gonna try it with just one stack. Yeah, no loss is expected. Okay, that's completely fine. Alright, so we've got an extra angel from that. I might just start returning that to base. Let's keep exploring first. So this is good to have. Let's see what this is. Alright, so this reveals Teal Player's Ore Pit, and I think there's a pretty good chance that's their starting zone. Because we know they're Inferno, uh, we can see the Lava Terrain. Don't really know how the Redwood Observatory decides to spawn there, I guess. Even if it's underground, if it's on Lava Terrain, maybe that's just what the map goes for. Okay, that should be fine. So we're approaching month three, we can see Tan is very much still in the game. Seems to have something to the north, his pink decides not to attack. Cuthbert, very weak. Should probably just go and finish him off. I think Ingham could do that. Let's see if we can defend that. I think this guy does start with magic area, so probably not. No, he's only got two spell points, so let's keep our griffin alive. Please. Okay, I could have caught him, but it doesn't matter. He's completely weak. Okay, so we've got like a weird assortment of unupgraded angels. Need to somehow bring them back together. So there's another exit. Didn't need to do that, shouldn't have done that. Go to this, day seven, so that was pretty pointless. Okay, so this brings us up to, I think, Teal's starting zone as well. There's his town. Ah. Yeah, having seen what I've seen already... I'm not sure I want to do this with three Archangels. If Tyrus can bring up his... That would be a bit better. So, it's going to be day one, and as a human player, we should be able to attack before they can reinforce. So we're going to go in with five Archangels and one Normal Angel. Normal Angel, probably not going to survive. In fact, actually, Tyrus has to keep that, so that's going to be fine. OK, 
Okay, so there is danger here. There will be enemies lurking. That's actually worth picking up. That's going to be really good. Is this worth doing? Because we could get the Mercury. If we come all the way back. I'll go for the defense. Okay, so none of this stuff is particularly relevant to Day 7. Uh, we're going to go for the Mage Guild so we can get the City Hall next week. Back in this town, I kind of forgot about this town. It's not looking likely to get taken down. We can't see what's coming from the east, but... I think it should be fine. We can also see a Dragon Utopia there. I think that's fine to end the week. So we're moving into month three. We have not seen anything so far that really scares me. We've had a bit of attrition, but nothing too bad. This should be fine. Let's do it. Maybe firewall would be okay. I'm actually going to take that. Okay, so Loinus has 94 spell points. I think that should be enough. Let's make sure we don't do it with Tyrus. That would be a big mistake. Oh, and another big mistake was going in with three different stacks. Not really a big mistake, but yeah, I didn't mean to do that. As long as these guys still have three, we should be fine. So if we go and attack the Archdevils, we're not going to get the kill. The problem is these Arrow Towers. In fact... Maybe I should be thinking about this a bit more. Four sections of wall. I genuinely might do that just because I'm so convinced the arrow towers are a problem. However, I don't think the AI is smart enough to know that attacking earth elementals with towers is pointless. So let's try this. And they just have 16 magogs, so... These guys can reach us. I think they'll just go for the Earth Elementals. That's probably actually better. Alright, those guys come attack us. That's fine. Let's just wait. They come forward. They... Ah, oh, they take out our first aid tent. That's that's actually quite annoying, because that's actually quite useful. Okay. Still, these things are solid. Literally. Alright, we don't want to lose an Archangel from that stack. But yeah, they're actually looking completely fine. Alright, so we don't yet know what these are going to attack. Hoping it'll be the Earth Elementals. I'm going to try and stay where I am. Because I think these are more inclined to attack us the further forward we go. So if we stay out of the walls, that's probably good for us. Next round begins, they fire before we can move. So, yeah. Just going to try and stay in place. Finish those off. Go for these. Fingers crossed, they are going to go for the Earth Elementals. These guys are pretty weak. But again, like... I, I would not be surprised if going defensive here actually increases the amount of damage I take from the towers. I don't think that's how it works, but I'm just really surprised how much they do. I don't think going defensive helps too much. Okay, they still go for that. So we are going to lose one. No, we just about hang on. One HP. Okay. Um, so when one of those dies, that's not a big deal. We can bring them back. Yeah, so we can afford to lose one. These guys aren't actually that healthy. Might want to go for Cure. Let's do it. Yeah, that pretty much brings them all the way back. Gonna go for this big stack. Can't even kill them. These guys are pretty healthy, so if the towers want to attack them, that's fine. 
this in the moat? I don't think so. Surprised he didn't go for the double attack. I'm pretty sure they could have. Yeah, they're clearly not that interested in the Earth Elementals, unfortunately. I think that was worth a try. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So I guess the issue was that one of our stacks was so close to death that the towers chose to go for it, but if the Archangels are all healthy, they should go after the Elementals instead. So these guys should all be safe. Yeah. I'm cure one more time. Go for these. Okay, so they get one more round of shots. These guys all have a lot of HP, so should be completely safe. Oh no, they don't. We actually win the fight there. I thought the Pit Lord was still alive for some reason. Okay, so we've actually taken this town just in time to keep it alive. Uh, we can reinforce that whenever we want to. We can reinforce this town too. Let's just get a few Dread Knights. And a few of these. This town, we're going to go for a couple of Archdevils, or just one Archdevil, and some of these. Okay. So obviously I'd rather invest in um, in Archangels and things, but we don't know what's in the shadows, and I think it makes sense just to play it safe with those. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go away with my five Archangels, and I'm going to go send Tyrus back towards our town to upgrade his Angel and uh, pick up some reinforcements. Let's go to this. And we know that Tan has a town in the snow zone. That could be a bit of an annoying trick. But it's something we have to do, so let's just do it. Okay. Well, I think we've done enough for this part. We have taken two of our opponent's capitals. We're up to four towns. Uh, we are officially in the lead in terms of town count. We can see that Blue is really good, but his best creature is an angel. So I'm not sure what to make of that. Um, Pink has pulled something off, maybe taken out a Dragon Utopia or something. They've got a really good defense stat now. But yeah, I'm still feeling really confident. We, we had that one fight that I'm a bit annoyed about, but... I'm not really annoyed, just um, on reflection, some of those losses were avoidable. But we do have eight Archangels waiting to be recruited here. Um, we have the Portal of Glory here, which is going to have another one. And of course another one up next to Adelaide, or Caitlyn even. So, still got plenty of Archangels to go around, and uh, we're going to be continuing to spread them throughout our heroes. But that is all for now, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.